Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. Well, this is my new ATV plow. It's a 50 inch plow that I purchased through Amazon. It's uh, from Moto Alliance. Before we get started, let's crack open a nice apple cider. So that plow is actually gonna go on my 2003 Bombardier Quest 650. I had a plow on this last year. I hit actually a big chunk of ice and bent the heck out of the plow. So I'm starting fresh and the new one's supposed to be a little heavier duty. So let's get this unboxed. So there's everything that comes in the kit. That's your bracket for underneath your ATV. All right, so this is the first step. So what we're gonna do first is get the push tube all set up. So the way you set up this, you have your push tube here. You take this bracket, it's going like that. You're gonna have these. The plastic's gonna go at the bottom. It's gonna go in between it. You're gonna line up your screw holes. And then this is gonna go on top. And there's seven bolts, they're uh, pre-threaded. So you're gonna put a bolt and a washer on. So before I do this, I'm actually gonna grease everything where I have metal on metal contact and this is gonna be used in the winter time. I want it to protect it from the salt. You can see it's already actually has a little bit of rust and it's brand new. So we're gonna put some white lithium grease on it and then we're gonna put this all together. Next thing we're installing is the handle to actually adjust your pivot. So all it is is this bracket here with a spring on the front and there's one bolt that goes through here. Again, grease everything up. So I'm just gonna tighten up this bolt. All right, so face your push tubes towards your plow blade. What you're gonna wanna do next, we're gonna take our large knot and bolt, our large washer and a, one that's a little bit smaller. What's gonna happen is this is actually gonna mount through this hole here on your push tube. So it's gonna be just like that. You can see how the small washer fits in there. So we're gonna push the blade up facing that, and then we're gonna mount it. Again, make sure to grease everything up so it stops it from rusting. All right, the next step, we're gonna put on our springs. So you have your big eye bolts. So what you're gonna do is hook your spring to here. They say to hook it like this, with that part forward. And then you're gonna hook it on here and thread it through this hole. And then you're gonna tighten up whatever tension you feel is best. So once you have these installed, tighten up your nuts to whatever tension you feel is best for a kicking uh, back and it's a 17 millimeter and there we go I'm gonna end up trimming this off we don't need an extra four inches of thread sticking up that's just gonna fetch on something so there's also a little nut that goes in here it limits how far back your blade can go so there's one there and one on the other side and there's three different positions you can use I used the furthest back, if not, I found the blade was pointing too far forward. Next part, we're going to install the cutting edge along the bottom of your blade. It's a six nuts and bolts. When you're installing your cutting blade, turn it upside down. That way you can get to the uh, nuts and bolts a lot easier. So next is you're going to install your skid feet just goes in this hole right here and I'm plowing mostly on gravel so I'm going to keep it up just a little bit I may have to adjust this later just 
just like that. When you want to adjust it, just pull out your pin and raise it up or down. But right now that's going to leave about probably half an inch underneath the blade. So that will kind of skim on top of the gravel. There, as far as the plow blade, it's completely together. This will take you probably about an hour in your garage with just uh, using basic hand tools. So the next step is to actually install the plow bracket on the ATV. And hopefully we'll get some snow to try this out. All right, now that that's all together, we got to figure out where we're actually going to put the mounting bracket underneath the ATV. So I like to pull the ATV up to it to figure out how far I want it to be out. I actually like it to be in as close as I can. There is the mounting bracket. That's where your pins clip on to right there. And it comes with a ton of U-bolts, washers and whatnot. So we're going to get under the ATV and figure out how to mount this. All right, so we got her all mounted. Let's get under there and take a look. I find the uh, frames on the uh, Bombardiers are really narrow at the front and they get really wide. So that was the only spot that I could actually mount it to. So it's mounted over the uh, tube frame. And it's nice and solid. Now I should point out that a lot of people are going to say that this is on backwards. It actually is. What I wanted to do was actually put the plow tube mount as far back as I could. That's why I put it on this way. And with this, I still have enough room to get the plow under here and it's not going to interfere. And we've got the clips in the plow bracket. Nice and easy and quick to remove. Also spray some rust check or whatnot in the plow tubes because what happens is water and salt sits in there and rots them from the inside out. short video on how to put together and install your plow bracket onto a Bombardier Quest 650. It's the same uh, principle for all other ATVs. The uh, frame's just a little bit different depending on your make and model. One thing I really like about this is I like the extra framework here, here and here compared to a lot of the other ones. It's uh, doubled up, so this is a very strong plow blade. Usually the weak link is your, your plow bracket here, your push tubes. And as you can see, I've uh, broken the cable a few times in the last couple years. So I may switch over to a short, they almost call it like a strap for plowing, which is only a couple feet long. So this winter we're going to do a whole bunch of plow videos. On this, uh, once we get some snow, it's certainly getting a little cool out, so not that I am looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to plowing. Hope you find this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, tips, comments, or whatnot, make sure you post them below, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.